the temperature of a circular plate, defined as r is equal to the set of all points x, y, where x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1, is defined by the function t of x, y is equal to 100 times x squared plus 2y squared. We are asked to find the average temperature along the edge of the plate, or to find the average temperature on the boundary, on the boundary of this plate. So let's recall that to compute the average value of f, we simply divide the ordinary integral by the length of the interval. So the average value of f is defined as one by the length of the interval multiplied by the ordinary integral. So to find the average temperature with a line integral, we simply divide by the length of the boundary. So to compute our average temperature here, we have 1 divided by L multiplied by the line integral over C of F ds, and L is equal to the length of the curve. So since our curve here is a circle, our length is going to be the circumference. The circumference, of course, we know is 2 pi r. So we'll start here by finding the length. So we know that our circle here is defined by this region here, this unit circle. Right, so we can say that since r is equal to 1, this lets us know that our length is equal to 2 pi times 1, or just 2 pi. So now that we have the length, we're ready to go about finding the line integral. All right. So the first thing that we want to do here is parameterize our curve, or parameterize C. And so our curve is the boundary of this region. So we know that C here in Cartesian coordinates is defined as the unit circle. x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And to parameterize this in terms of arc length, we now have a vector-valued function, r of s. We need to define the components for x and y in terms of s. So this is equal to our x component is cosine of s, and our y component is sine of s, where s is our arc length. We should note that this is 4 s greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2 pi, because we're thinking about a full circle here. So we're now ready. We'll rewrite the temperature function. So we're going to replace x and y in the given temperature function with our parameterization. So the original function was 100 multiplied by x squared plus 2y squared. And so when we rewrite this in terms of our parameter arc length, this becomes 100 multiplied by cosine squared plus 2 times sine squared of s. ready to set up the integral. We have the integral over C of our function t ds becomes the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 100 multiplied by cosine squared of s plus 2 times sine squared of s ds. 
So looking at the integrand here, we see that we cannot integrate the way that it's written, so we'll need to use some trig identities here. So let's recall from Pythagorean's theorem, we know that cosine squared of s plus sine squared of s is equal to 1. So I'm going to solve for cosine squared and rewrite the integrand. This is now 100 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi. And I'm rewriting cosine squared of s as 1 minus sine squared of s plus 2 sine squared of s. So we can combine up our two like terms here, rewriting this as 100, multiply times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus sine squared of s ds. So we're getting closer, but again, we can't integrate the way that this is written. However, we recall the half angle formula here. So I'm going to rewrite this as 100 multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus our half angle formula, 1 half minus cosine of 2s divided by 2 ds. And combining up our like terms here, we're then ready to integrate. We have 100 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 3 halves minus cosine of 2s by 2. And my goodness, we should really factor that denominator out. We have these two 2s here. We can divide that into 100. And we can simplify this to 50 multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 3 minus cosine of 2s ds. And we're ready to go. So this integrates to 50 multiplied by 3s minus sine of 2s divided by 2 from 0 to 2 pi. And evaluating this, we have 50 multiplied by 6 pi minus sine of 4 pi divided by 2 minus 0 minus sine of 0 divided by 2. And we know sine of 4 pi goes to 0, sine of 0 goes to 0 as well, leaving us with 50 multiplied by 6 pi, which leaves us with 300 pi. But we just want to be mindful that this is not our final answer here. Don't forget that we're looking for the average temperature of the plate around the board along the boundary. So the average temperature T bar is equal to, again, 1 by our length multiplied by our line integral here. So the length with the circumference, that's 1 over 2 pi, multiplied by the line integral, which we just found to be 300 pi. So therefore, the average temperature of the plate along its boundary is 150. And that is our beautiful final answer.